product business and IT service business. Like IT SaaS is like renting business and IT product or IT services is like build and sell business. Some smaller companies which are working very niche. I want to mention one company which is like E2E networks. So, you know, their services are used by many, you know, startups for their non-production workload. This business may top line grow karti hai by X, then cost doesn't grow by X. In stages may engagement. Okay. So this is typical IT business model. So when I say cloud and cloud, you know, there are three things as I told you, right? One is, you know, infrastructure as service, platform as service. And yeah. software as a service, right? this sub- entire supply chain becomes very easy because mm. it everything is centralized, right? They mm. will upgrade this in the data center mm. and that upgradation will be applied to all the customers, all you know, whoever they are. So, first of all, let's talk about IT businesses. IT businesses are two ways. IT product business and IT service business. Let's take IT services first because we are so fond of Infosys, TCS, and Wipro's, you know, because these companies put together brings more than 10 lakh crore of market cap. So, IT businesses may as a kya hai. IT company could a service provide karti hai, or is may agar aapko expand karna hai, agar aapko nae customer acquire karna hai, or agar aapne nae customer on board kiye, then serve karna ke liye, you need army of software engineers, and that's why. इस बिजनेस में जैसे जैसे टॉप लाइन बढ़ती है जैसे रेवेन्यू बढ़ता है वैसे वैसे कॉस्ट जो कि जनरली एम्प्लॉई कॉस्ट होता है मैन पावर कॉस्ट होता है वो बढ़ता जाता है यू कैन सी 7 इयर्स लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ दिस कंपनी तो अगर प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी की बात करें तो प्रॉफिट जो है जो आप डे 1 पे कमाते हैं और 7th ईयर के एंड में कमाते हैं उसमें थोड़ा सा ही डिफरेंस होता है अगर टॉप लाइन आपकी 10% से ग्रो कर रही है देन प्रॉफिट माइट बी ग्रोइंग बाय 12 13 14 15% it may not be growing exponentially. But if I talk about IT product company, there is an operating leverage at play. Hota hai. Operating leverage is where you have incremental cost to serve an incremental customer is negligible. If I am a newspaper company, hu, let's say, then in order to uh, reach to new customer, I need to print one newspaper. But if I am a software version, hu, e-paper provider who then I don't need to do anything because I have a digital copy ready for new customers. So as a IT sales businesses may aapko nae customer ko acquire karne ke liye nae cost incur nahi karne parte. Incremental cost are low and isi karan you can see agar top line grow karti hai by x then cost doesn't grow by x it grows slower than x. Fixed cost, yeah, manpower cost, employee cost, jo hai, but wo us tarike se nahi badti, jis tarike se top line badti hai. So the delta, but the difference between top line and cost is your profitability. So at the end of the year, profitability exponentially badti. So a typical IT business ka business model kya hota hai? Let's just first usko samajhte hai. An IT company or uske customer mein teen stages mein engagement hoke hai. First stage is called licensing, second is implementation phase and third is AMC phase. Licensing yaani ki ek aisa time hota hai jab wo customer aap se aapka product kharidta hai aur use karne ka license kharidta hai. That's why aapko wo upfront certain amount pay karta hai. So this is licensing phase. This is more like IT product phase. Yaha pe aap ek IT product company ki tarah kaam karte hai jaise Infosys hai. Infosys ka ek product hai jise kehte hai Finacle. And it is a banking product. So ICIC Bank ne jab Finacle ko kharida aas se 15 saal pehle. Then they would have paid certain amount of a fixed cost for buying, for using that license. Then second phase is implementation phase. Jaha pe koi bhi customer apne us IT services ko apne sare branches mein implement karne ke liye IT company ki madad leta hai. और ये काइंड ऑफ आईटी सर्विसेज बिजनेस होता है इसमें मार्जिंस बहुत ज्यादा नहीं होते हैं बट दिस आल्सो अमाउंट टू रफली 20% ऑफ ओवरऑल प्रोजेक्ट कॉस्ट इसमें जो पेमेंट होती है वो माइलस्टोन बेस्ड होती है एंड इट इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन द डेवलपमेंट एंड इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट दीस टू बिजनेसेस लाइंस आर चंकी इन नेचर बिकॉज़ आपको अपफ्रंट कॉस्ट अपफ्रंट रेवेन्यू आती है इन दोनों में थर्ड लेग इज एन्यूटी बेस्ड मॉडल होता है वहां सिंस आपने प्रोडक्ट डेवलप किया है आपने प्रोडक्ट इंप्लीमेंट कराया है सो यू नो द प्रोडक्ट बेटर देन एनीबॉडी एल्स so for operation and maintenance, for maintaining that software inside their ecosystem, they need support. Or uske liye they sign and management contract with probably you. This is called AMC. AMC revenue jo hai, wo incurring revenue hoti hai, jo 
every year this keep coming and it keeps added to your top line so this is typical it business model now how saas comes into picture saas as the name suggests software as a service so yahan pe hum software ko as a product nahi bechte hain but software ko as a service ki tarah uh, subscribe karate hain the customer jo hai wo sab software buy nahi karte balki customer us uh, software ko rent karte hain so as we know that if you go and buy a flat then you have to pay a huge sum like 1 crore 50 lakh upfront but agar aap se rent karne jate hain then hardly you need to pay 3 lakh 4 lakh a year so renting versus buying jaise business model mein difference hota hai waise hi it saas is like renting business and it product or it services is like build and sell business business model shift from build and sell to build and rent longevity of business is there because isme longevity isliye badh jati hai because customer ki reach badha de compare kare ek traditional builder se जो कि बिल्डिंग बना रहा है टू सेल इट आउट तो उसे तो एक ऐसा पर्सन चाहिए होगा जो एटलीस्ट थर्टी फिफ्टी लैक्स अफोर्ड कर सके बट अगर आप बिल्ड एंड रेंट मॉडल पे हैं लाइक अ सैस बिजनेस है देन यू जस्ट नीड टू बिल्ड अ हाउस एंड एक्सपेक्ट अ कस्टमर विथ रफली थ्री लैख एनुअल इनकम सर प्लस जो कि वो उस हाउसिंग फेसिलिटी अवेल कर सकता है रेंटिंग वर्सेज selling ka business model ka difference hai between saas and traditional uh, downside of this business is that aapka jo cost hai wo reimburse nahi hota hai in initial year itself uske liye aapko break even hone ke liye at least 2 to 3 years ka wait karna padta hai to agar hum it traditional product ki baat kare to lifetime value of a customer agar 100 rupees hai then in license stage you will get 30% which is like quarter 1 when when you sell this license in quarter 1 in first quarter itself and in next 2 to 3 quarters or next 1 2 years aapko 20% ki revenue milti hai which is which comes in lieu of your implementation services but for next 7 8 years you get amc revenue which is per year roughly 6% 5% kind of revenue you generate out of 100 rupees but in saas business you uh, churn out 5 7 rupees a year and over a longer period of time so usme licensing fee nahi hoti usme implementation fee nahi hoti seedhe user subscribe karta hai to your service and you start serving it like a fresh customer and you keep doing the same till the customer last but isme kya hota hai ki isme longevity of business is better because affordability better hone ke karan naye customer early stage mein aa jate hain and this is चीप इसमें कस्टमर एक्वायर करना इज इजियर देन इंटरप्राइज बेस्ड मॉडल इंटरप्राइज बेस्ड यानी कि बी टू बी की जगह आप बी टू सी में भी ऑपरेट करते हैं सैस में देर आर सम स्मॉलर कंपनीज Are working very niche, uh, you know. World. I want to mention one company which is like E two E networks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this E two E networks, you know, what they do is, you know, they don't provide each and everything, right? What these you know hyperscalers provide, right? So they do very niche. What they say is that okay, we will provide you only infrastructure as a service, right? No software as a service, no platform as a service, right? Mm-hmm. But we will provide you only infrastructure as a service. But at a very you know reasonable cost, right? What happens is you know their services are used by many you know startups for their non-production workload because obviously yeah they they need you know uh, quite a lot of capacity even for you know doing the development and doing testing, load running, right? before moving it into production right so what the thing is okay take we will you know go to you know uh, aws or azure for our production workload right but uh, we can probably you know do our testing and load running and all that on a smaller player which is providing you know much cheaper rate and mm-hmm. giving all of that right so one of the good thing you know which i have seen you know with e2e networks is you know they do being despite being a smaller company it's a very small small company right and they don't even have their own data center you know they have you know taken you know probably you know some 100 uh, racks uh, from like controls or netmagic i don't remember the name but what they do is you know they change the generations of their server right Okay. Uh, like now, like you know, more and more GPUs are coming up. So they are, you know, coming up with you know, G capacity for you know this GPU because you know lot of workloads, you know, what they're getting is for this AI ML use cases. Mm-hmm. So they have you know refreshed their you know infrastructure for that. Then you know uh, they have uh, you know uh, done R and D on their own because you know they are already using you know open source in, you know uh, softwares for building their cloud services, right? so there you know they have they are doing 
uh, things for you know failover and redundancy mm-hmm. more and more you know uptime and they are providing these all that all these services at quite a you know substantially you know lower rate compared to all these big names right okay uh, and and you know many i mean in the past you know many companies like you know zomato and many other you know uh, some unicorn they have some of them have become unicorns as well mm-hmm. so they have taken their you know services Okay. either for testing and development and you know uh, doing the load testing or even for running some small part of you know production environment in their you know this thing or if the company is just starting up and they don't have you know till they have got this venture capitalist funding you know they don't have you know that much of funding and they want to start start it out they are they also take you know uh, services from them this is one niche company you know then there could be you know few other companies who are you know uh, providing software as service right building you know something on you know on top of these hyperscalers and then providing that stack as service right so mm-hmm. uh, what is happening is nowadays you know this uh, like new gen right or mm-hmm. nuclear software you know all of them are coming into software as service you know which is subscription model right rather than you know having you know perpetual model that okay sell it you know one time and then if they take amc that is fine if they don't take it then uh fine i mean yeah so nowadays i mean uh, what they do is rather than you know, so they want to have this annuity model mm-hmm. right and every day and they will you know do so that doing that is obviously much uh, lucrative mm-hmm. in india so any company uh, which is you know providing their products which is which is a product company basically and providing their product uh, on cloud as software as service you know Uh, so those can be uh, you know beneficiaries right i mean giving uh, given that their product are good enough to you know sustain because you know, there are a lot of a lot of competition basically so you got to understand one part that they were themselves before data center come up i mean if we for a moment we keep aside data center they themselves were on a tailwind because of the unit uh, because of the economics because software as a service is the cheaper version of a, of a, their full enterprise setup so that is the mega right. or the data center how is it playing alongside it or how is it changing for it so how it is changing is that for example you know uh, new gen right now so new gen you know is, is providing document management system with workflow right mm-hmm. now if someone some organization has to you know procure that just like you know office 65 right mm-hmm. or like you know uh, hana sap hana right if they want to you know deploy that a smaller organization want to deploy that you know earlier they could not afford you know that mm-hmm. right and even if they could right the implementation time procurement time and implementation time was very long right i mean these kind of projects obviously take you know 6 months to one year or maybe you know sometimes even more than that and that has to be obviously you know you uh, the customer had to you know build the capacity in their own data center if they don't have you know data center then obviously they have to you know first build the data center and you know provide all these things and then you know buy the servers and all that install that and then you know take the software from them then oh. they they will take you know profi- professional services from again new gen or some partner of new gen they will you know install all of them then they integrate with other you know applications which is you know inside the data center so obviously in enterprise what happens you know no application runs you know in isolation all of all of the applications basically you know in are working in a integrated mode right so if there is a erp there is a crm there is you know some you know other you know system the data will move from one system to another system for some you know getting some functionality right mm-hmm. hrms like you know so what happens is you know after sas you know they can provide earlier you know they were just selling the software you no know, licenses right? Right. and let's suppose you know it was costing 100 rupees right and if the you know if they get it de- uh, deployed if so there were two ways you know if they were de- getting deployed they would they could do it with the professional services from the uh, company itself or they could take it from uh, some partner of the company mm-hmm. right if they were taking you know some par- uh, these services from some partner then mm-hmm. obviously they were losing on that revenue after that going onward you know uh, there is a trend of 20% you know amc on that cost so so on 100 rupees it is like 20 rupees you know 20 rupees year on year but that that was not binding so customer can you know decide okay that i don't need it so i do, i will not take it right now what is happening you know here 
rather than you know having 100 rupees one time mm-hmm. they will deploy this in a data center because obviously you know if they have you know hundreds of customers they will not obviously you know do it in their own data center though, because that is also, and then customer is not you know maybe you know this year the customer is there you know next year they will decide to you know go away mm-hmm. right so they they will obviously you know double not develop their own data center for this thing so what they will do is you know they will obviously take the infrastructure as service from some hyperscaler and that obviously will be in some data center right mm-hmm. and they will you know deploy that to all the customization whatever is needed there and then they can you know serve so this lead time is much smaller for the mm-hmm. customer they can you know hook up the such kind of companies and yeah. their service can be started you know in much lesser time so compared to one year earlier it can go you know in one month or you know one and one and a half month and all that right so they don't the customer don't have to build anything on their premise right they don't have to build any, anything on their premise mm-hmm. they can you know reduce the capacity increase the capacity as they get orders new orders right okay. and they are you know building that uh, application stack in the cloud in a way which can be you know uh, customized there so for earlier you know if there is any new release you know they will provide the release and then you know that release implementation of you know that release this promotion uh, this upgradation it is it was also very tricky and you know very time consuming right mm-hmm. here now they can do that upgradation there itself this sub- entire supply chain becomes very easy because mm-hmm. it everything is centralized right they mm-hmm. will upgrade this in this in the set in the data center mm-hmm. and that upgradation will be applied to all the customers all the whoever they are yeah. the so for example yeah so for example o65 now o65 there is a for example there is a version of you know office 2022 Right for twenty two. Later on, you know the new version comes up, right? Whatever new version comes up, right? They that will be available to all the customers of O sixty five automatically. So mm-hmm. they don't have to do any installation, you know, mm-hmm. or or the mail server, you know, they don't have to do any installation on their on their part in their own, you know, in their premises. Right. So the similar kind of you know uh, advantage is there with you know this uh, software as service. Provide any if any of the company who is providing any software which is niche. and they have some leadership actually in that right so for example you know one of the company is zoho no, uh, which is an indian company but it is not a listed company but they they are you know obviously one of the beneficiary they have many products you know which are actually mm-hmm. quite niche and you know, sometimes even market uh, leader or one of the you know market leaders nucleus and new nucleus is is a old company in bfsi segment they have you know some very niche you know products in in bfsi So BFSI is obviously, as I know, is one of the uh, sector you know who mm-hmm. uses a lot of technology. So there can be multiple companies. Uh, it's just that you can, know, I mean, one have to do a lot of research to find you know such companies. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not a uh, easy part, and obviously tracking them. That okay, now they are you know getting the recurrent uh, revenue each year. Their number of customers is it increasing or decreasing or stagnant and mm-hmm. all that. Because it's a very competitive space. Value chain, value chain would benefit. Ha, yeah, uh, just a follow up on E two E. E two is also doing the same. Uh, Office three sixty five they do. So Office three sixty five it is like mm-hmm. SaaS, right? So uh, Microsoft is providing you know all kind of thing, right? Is mm-hmm. this so when I say cloud and cloud, you know there are three things as I told you, right? One is you know infrastructure as service, platform as service, and mm-hmm. software as service, right? So Microsoft, Google. these all you know provide all three uh, stuff right you can you know use their software as it is which is like os65 which is product you can use as it is right this is software as service right then in platform as service which is like you know if you want to develop your own software you know .net uh, framework and .net you know environment or java environment or whatever you need you know they will provide you and you can develop your software test there run it you know run the load right so that you can get to know okay how much load it can you know how much scalable it can be right or infrastructure service so that you know you will take you know some virtual servers and all that storage and all that and you will install your off the shelf application mm-hmm. there right so that is infrastructure i mean you, they will provide you servers software defined infrastructure basically and then on top of that you will install your application and you know then uh, make use out of So this E two E networks, you know, it provides only infrastructure as service. Okay. Only one one thing, right? Mm-hmm. These two things because 
other two things are much more complicated basically you know, you need much more expertise mm-hmm. right so yeah so software as a service you know you need to have some product which is you know solving some problem right a very niche problem for a company platform as a service you know is where uh, you you provide a platform where they can develop their application where you, that means you know you need to have your own you know language right mm-hmm. right .net or java you provide that and then you know someone can you know build their application on top of that right so that is something which is not you know easy to do right this is something easier to do in search as a service right mm-hmm. so that is why i said you know that because a lot of companies they have this you know use case where you know there will be a lot of you know, this startup ecosystem is there is there right uh, where you know a lot of companies they need you know uh, some capacity at cheaper rate to do their you know startups or run their you know a non production workload which if, even if goes down right i mean so the problem or the risk with such smaller player is that okay what if if my you know uh, their infrastructure goes down right mm-hmm. then my you know my mm-hmm. offering you know that will go down so they they can't afford it but with production workload i mean they obviously need that kind of you know of time but for uh, b- development workload or user work uh, they probably don't need it right or if they start build very small startup company they can probably you know do with even you know little lesser of time 